All right then, so today we're going to be using the brand new Mastercraft XM4 blueprint that's been added to Warzone. I think it's called Swap something attacks. It's it's something like that, but thought we'd give it a go in solos. This is a pretty chaotic round, this one. Not even going to lie, because I make so many mistakes over the next sort of like 14 minutes of the cut that I'm going to put this video together for. <laughs> and you're just going to see some of the mistakes. And genuinely, I don't actually know how I made it to the final circle. I was such a noob just running around. In the end, we do prevail. And, um, well, it's a pretty cool Mastercraft blueprint. I've got to say that. It's not as good as the reactives, like the Farah and, and the Org. But um, still a very cool skin. So I'll cut forward to some of the action now. And, um, yeah, you'll get to see the XM4 pretty soon. So this is our first encounter here. We have Truck Man coming over on the minimap. You can hear him now. I always leave it to the last minute to jump out of the way of people driving trucks. He's got out. And there we go. First takedown of the game. I'm not a huge fan of this uh, Krig blueprint with the uh, with the scope on it. Like, it's got a lot of uh, a wobble on, on the scope. But, hey, as a ground loot gun, it's got 45 rounds in the mag. So, <laughs> at least you can... Uh, you can dump on some people early game and you can get some, uh, you can get a good start at least. Just sort of scouting up on top of the hill here, looking out for people that, that might be about. And there's somebody who's over there. I didn't manage to get the mark, but you did see him drop in with his parachute. Thought I'd take cover behind this building and kablamo. <laughs> Random man who just happened to be wrong place, wrong time, unfortunately for him. But you'll have noticed there's a guy running off over here. And I was a little bit too far behind him to really see where he'd gone at this point. And I'll be honest, my driving skills were so awful here. I kept trying to drive back round. I kept bumping into things. Look, I, I've hit three things on the way here. <laughs> but of course, he wanted the uh, the abandoned truck. Now we go for a little bit of an expedition. I'm obviously in the more vulnerable position. He's got the big Bertha. So I'm sort of leaving a little bit of a gap between me and him. I don't want to get too close. Um... And then we try something here. That was a fail. Oh, he tries to switch back to the driver's seat. <laughs> Panic, he got out of his truck. And there we go, the takedown. I thought I'd try and do that cool thing where you switch into the passenger seat and then you like shoot and then you, you hit the button three times and you switch back to the driver's seat and you keep driving. Yeah, um, I'm clearly not pra practiced that one enough yet <laughs> to be able to do it, but... Um, we do now have enough for uh, for our loadout, so uh, we can get our XM4 here. Notice how I've trained myself not to buy the RCXD that's still at the bottom of the list. <laughs> the amount of people that I've seen videos from over the last few days since that was introduced that have uh, that have bought an RCXD instead of a loadout, it's, it's mental. But this is the Mastercraft blueprint. So you turn on this like battery pack on the side, and it starts like. I think the animation is really, really cool, man. I, I I mean, it's one of those things where this is not the best Mastercraft bundle, I will say. I heard some footsteps here. There you go. You can see those electric tracers. I want to use the XM4 more in Warzone, but it just can't compete with, like, the FFAR, man. It just can't do it. I really wish it could, but it's just not built for it. Now, you might be wondering why I'm driving around backwards. Somebody had a cheeky snipe at me as I was driving away from the compound. You can actually see him down on the road there. So I thought I'd get right around above him. I don't know why I tried the seat switch thing again. It was silly. I don't know why, but you can see him down on the road there. Still liking the LW3, by the way. I think it's a really good sniper. They've added some weird parallax to the default scope, which I'm not a huge fan of. See around the edges of the scope there, it does that like weird warping effect on the glass. Like, it's a video game, man. It, we don't need to have that crap in the game. <laughs> we just take that out. But it, it's been added since the uh, the Season 2 Reloaded patch. It's probably part of Raven's work to actually add scope glint to half the scopes within Cold War. Uh, they just don't have glint on them. Missed that first shot. If I'd have hit the second, then that spray there from the XM4... If I'd have hit it alongside the second, sorry, then that spray with the XM4 would have uh, would have taken him down. Now here, this guy, I think he gets a little bit lucky. Because I get to see him through the glass of the building here. He's moving around up the top. And he just holds. He just held this. Look, he knew I was around here somewhere. And he just held it. And I'm like, fair play to the guy. 
for sticking the first bullet and then landing the headshot on the second. In the gulag here. Pipe 63, I think, is it called? Not my favourite gun. Don't really like it at all. It just reminds me of the DMR meta. Unfortunately, the game just throws me a thousand metres away from where I want to be. So I drop down and get this load out here because if I go back to the one where the contraband um, contract is, I might not be able to get my gear. Somebody might nick my gun and probably has gone up there and stolen all the ammo. So I might have one gun from my loadout, but not all of them. So I'll just drop here, get this load out, and then we'll move in and got a bit of a regame on. We've got like 40-something players before Circle 2 collapses, so pretty uh, pretty average Warzone round at the moment. Having to do a bit of rat looting here. Um, your classic regame move. They have now fixed the plate bug where for some reason plates just would not spawn on certain areas of the Warzone map. So at least something got fixed with the, uh, the Season 2 reloaded patch, but obviously not having enough plates at this point is kind of detrimental to the game experience and... I've got a, uh, a bounty contract on my head, which is not not great. You might have heard there, there were some shots sort of around the buy station, so I got quite lucky nicking this truck and being able to sort of get away from the action. And you see it goes red here, and I'm like, well, where the hell is this guy? Is he above me? And there he is, on the hill, right next to me. Now, I make a bit of a mistake here. I think that the truck can get up that rock, <laughs> and it can't. So uh, a little bit of unnecessary damage on the truck. But... Um, does allow me to get a, uh, a reposition on this guy. At least I can get a little bit of height on him. It's not the brightest spark. If I'd have lined that headshot up a bit more, I might have stood a better chance. He just about sneaks away behind the building there. But I, I turned a bad play into a good one. And this one here is me just being a bit drolly. <laughs> just driving after him with my firehorn truck. <laughs> just to scare him off, really. I mean, sometimes it works. And here he just pulls off and, and goes o over to the left. Which leaves me to sort of loop back around to the to the right. And I know this guy is, is on the factory building. Although I'm not 100% sure where he might be. Just being wary of the shot on the left. Because we did hear shots there earlier. And there he is. Straight in the head. Bang. Sit down. Clearly a, a young lad, that one. I think I might have scared him with, with the headshot. I didn't mean to scare him. But <laughs> he did get scared. But he's left me with some loot, which is great. Now you might be thinking at this point here. 22 players, 6 kills. This is becoming a bit of a dead lobby, Westy. And you're completely wrong. There's still so much more that's going to happen in this round right here. I find, um, what's it called? An APS. Stick that on the back of the, of the truck. I, I've made the commitment to the truck at this point. I'm like, I didn't really want to use the truck this round because I know it's a kind of a cheesy tactic. And uh, I'm not sure how many people know about the cavalry buff on most of the barrels in the game. I just got the notification that somebody was dropping in. Might be able to hear him. Or it might have been footsteps when I was talking. But um, yeah, there's now a cavalry barrel in uh, that it actually works for increased vehicle damage. That's the guy that was on the roof. I noticed he was like running with a pistol. So I was like, Do you know what? I'm going to go for him. Because if he does not have a main gun, he might drop a plate. And as you can see, I've got one spare plate and I haven't played it up because I'm Westy and I don't do that. <laughs> um, I was just checking over the, the factory there because there was some shooting before I arrived over at Quarry. But yeah, there's now the cavalry barrel on most of the guns in the game and it does extended vehicle damage. And I think somebody tested it and it's like 50 bullets from a stoner at close range and you can disable a Bertha truck. Now I've actually made some bank here. <laughs> I've made like 11-4 by walking into this building. I've actually got full plates for the first time in ages. And then I'm gifted... A satchel as well. I mean, that couldn't have been better if it tried. And there's a guy trying to escape past here. I think he wanted. I think he wanted my truck. I think that's why he he hit the tractor over there and reversed. Wasn't his best idea. I mean, if there's a truck rolled up at the end of the building like that and it's got an APS on it, he should have been able to see the APS as well. Um, you should be pretty confident that that is someone else's truck and they are probably nearby. But um, I'm glad I've got it, because I'm going to need it, pushing over to the buy station here. Only 13 players left at this point. Eight kills, though, and like I said, still lots of action left to happen uh, in this round right here. Bang, right next to me. <laughs> Thank God I popped that UAV. If I hadn't have popped it, I was going to go for the self-revive first, and I was like, you know what? Nah, I'll pop the UAV, see what's happening. I'm so glad I popped it. 
Well, we've got a bit of a game of cat and mouse here. You can hear his footsteps, like, creeping around down below. I'm surprised he didn't back up. If he'd have backed up and moved away from the drum, he would have got an easy shot on me here. Because, once again, I'm not being very careful. I thought, you know what, I need an angle on this guy. And there's the angle. He wasn't particularly happy that he died there. I mean, personally, if that had been me in that situation, I probably would have ran for the truck, got in the truck and drove away. Because that's the power play right there. And um, I decided here to get another loadout drop because I don't have ghost. Um, because, of course, I had the gulag and I dropped in and I got that loadout and I didn't get the ghost one. So I thought, you know what, I'll spend all my cash. No point holding on to it for much longer with only 11 players left. So here we are. Classic Warzone endgame, driving around in trucks. I thought I'd come up here and investigate this other truck. Because this is where I died earlier to that guy that sniped me with the car 98 down the hill. I just thought, you know what, I'm going to come and check this out. Just make sure nothing's going on. And bang. There we go. There's the shot. <laughs> Somebody's up there with a sniper. I think camping around the antenna and the uh, stationary truck that you, you can't use. Um, but they are very close to the edge of the circle. And having played more solos... I thought that the guy would jump in the truck at this point and, and bring that down. But um, decided not to, which is really strange. You just see it ping up there on the minimap. Look, he must have fired a shot because he he's appeared on the minimap. Or someone dropped in on him and nicked his gear. Because look, there's another player running over from the plateau there. You can see him on the horizon just below the rocks. And that's, that's not the direction that the player came from. He was up the top here to the right. I mean, this guy gets a, a tire in his face for his troubles. <laughs> but um, there was a, a blip inside the gas. So unless he's fired an unsuppressed shot or someone dropped in and killed, I, I don't really know what happened there. All I really know is, is that I'm now on 10 kills. And that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> now, this is my biggest mistake. Absolutely massive mistake. Missed him. Got out of the truck on that side. Not sure why I threw a grenade at him. He's got off afar, I think, from the uh, the sound profile. Get some solid hits there. Sticky on one side. Boom. Managed to get the kill. I messed that up so bad. I thought I'd be getting out on the right side of the truck. Once again, because I'm British, I thought that's what was going to happen. But no, you get out on the left. Because this is an Americanized game, and you you drive on the left-hand side in this game. Now this here, this this clip right here is incredible. It's peak war zone. This guy's pushing me. I get some insane shots on him. He gets some insane shots on me, and it's a heal off. But he's being sniped by someone else. <laughs> Watching that back is incredible because I thought I was going to die. I think we healed at almost precisely the same moment. And I must have just been in cover behind this broken down old 4x4 there that I didn't I didn't get shot at and someone else was shooting at him. I got so, so lucky there. There's a guy up there on the ridge. Again, getting out the wrong side of the bloody truck. I'm such an idiot. I need to learn how this works. I need to remember at least. Get the snipe on that guy. It was a nice one. I knew immediately there was no point me staying scoped in to get that second shot because he would immediately crawl around the wall. He was too close to it. So I just sort of dipped back around the truck and just sort of took that as a down and forgave the uh, the kill. But uh, we've still got the truck. It's very low health now, but we've still got the truck. And you can see down there at the buildings, there's a guy just sort of shooting me in between the, uh, the concrete slabs. Now, unbeknown to me, there's a guy in the bush behind me. <laughs> I had no idea he was there. I think he was just laying prone. What are you doing in a bush? <laughs> He's just over there having the, having a whale of a time in solos in a bush, not doing anything. I think he tried to get me with that airstrike, and I got really lucky because I could drive it into, into the gas. And once again, I completely forgot that you get out of that side of the truck and keep thinking I'm going to get out on the right-hand side because I'm British, and that is the correct side to get out of a car. I don't care how many other places in the world <laughs> have the driver on the left side. We drive with the people on the right-hand side, but we drive on the left-hand side of the road. That is how my brain is trained. And so when I play Warzone, that's what I think is going to happen. And it, it nearly gets it nearly got me killed twice in this game. 
So stupid. But um, three players left. 12 kills. Not a bad round in the end with some absolutely terrible mistakes. But these two lads are just having a, having a little bit of a fight over here by the building. There you go. Down to two. He's not ghosted. So we creep up. Stalking our prey in the wild plains of Verdansk. And there we go, we take him down. <laughs> and we get the win. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll catch you all in the next one.